Alright, I've marked the ace off on the turn order. And that's a hit for four more damage. I very much suggest that we let Cobra go next so he can maybe either say a prayer for his life or eject or something. <laughs> and then he uh, moves to not be a bad right. idea. So. Yeah, so I'd say he ejects. Should I move first and put myself elsewhere? You could probably move first and like boost around the lake if you really wanted to. Uh, technically, an eject is a quick action, so you still have a quick action to do on top of your move. Yeah, so move, boost, the eject where you feel safe, I guess. Also, uh, self-destruct is also a quick action. You can do both. Stabilize is also an action, which would heal up your HP as well. Ah, uh, well, he boosted, so it doesn't matter. Yep. But... Yeah, so uh, eject there. Well, actually, uh, when you eject, you can move an additional six spaces in any direction of your choice. Your pilot, anyway. So your mech ends its turn there, but your pilot can get ejected six places anyway. I don't think pilots can really do anything on a mech field, huh? You say that. <laughs> I took That's out proper weaponry. I took out a third of these guys without a mech. Also, I in a play test, I destroyed Griff's mech. Out of mech. Okay, but well please let's focus on the battle at hand. It's a... Do you eject? Cobra? What, what checks? Do you use the eject action? Yes. So then you can put six more spaces. Heading for that cover there. Yeah. And uh, then I will use the left assault. He is uses his movement to stand up and then attacks Pyro. One. What? Oh yeah. Right. Uh, which one? Is that the one to the south of me or the one to the uh, left of me? The left. He stood up and uh, rammed his combat knife into you for four damage. Right. So I was just checking so I could put him as a one on the turn order. I'm trying to keep track of it for us. Uh, yes. Four damage. Got it. And... Then he uh, uses his other action as quick at quick take action. And he puts two heat on you. Two heat? Yes. Alright, I'm full heat. Oh, and I believe that list leaves zero on our side. Uh, and that'll be correct. On top of that, you are uh, impaired and slowed. I am? Yes, because uh, of the quick tag action. Which one did he do? Invade. Invade. Okay. You gotta, you gotta label what they do. There's a lot of quick tag actions. Well, yes, three sorry, of them I'm... anyway. Yes. He did okay. uh, in red. So that was his turn then. Yes. Okay. So uh, I have my competitor here. I'm going to go ahead and use my movement to stand up, since that's what I can do. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw out my last turret. Why not? I'm going to go ahead and put it like. Over here, sure. 
That's still in range. Cool. Uh, and then I will go ahead and just try to stab this guy in front of me. I'm choosing to throw out the turn instead of target because I just feel confident. I think I can do it. I think I can. That will be six damage. And he takes a brace reaction. Do you use the turret on top? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to explode from it, so I'm going to go ahead and through do the turret. So that should pop up to six total damage this turn. Yes, and that uh, killed that guy. Excellent. I'm using my resources as much as possible, so I'm going to go ahead and scream at Helios. Try to keep those two locked up. Do what you do best. Knock them down. And I'm going to go ahead and give you another d6, because I think you used up the other one. <laughs> die. No, no, that's not what I said at all. I mean, to be uh, fair, I have no memory of dying, so... Exactly. So the Atra uses his full disengaged action. Good choice. So, uh, oh, you marked him for me. Nice. And that leaves uh, two artillery to shoot at zero. Oh, boy. I love being shot at. Yes, they don't like uh, shooting uh, their allies. I don't suppose their uh, weapons have, like, bursts or anything, do they? What do you mean by bursts? Uh, when they hit, they hit adjacent things. Uh, they, they have blast, the artillery, yes. Blast, okay. Would that also hit their drone? Yeah. By the rules, probably, yes, in my head, the drones were always flying. <laughs> but... <laughs> well, whichever one you decide to go with. We'll figure it out later if we want. Okay. It's not too important. I'm going to run away from them later. It's... Uh... Okay, the first one shoots. And probably misses. That's right. And uh, the second one shoots. And That's hits... a hit. For five damage. And they blow up their drone and can do a new one next round. <laughs> well, that's the first damage I've taken so far. So, can we do a zero for everybody? Uh, no, just uh, say this time around I'll just change them to zeros. And then yeah. the next round, if there's another next round, I'll go back to ones. Yeah. Okay. That's a great uh, Helios, idea. if you want to take the first turn, uh, and I'll be right back. Sure. I will take my first turn. Full action. Stabilize. I will re remove all my heat. I will spend one repair to go to full hit points. And then, surprising nobody, I will do a stupid move. And I will overcharge. D6 heat. Possibly putting me back to full heat again. <laughs> Uh, nope, I take two heat. Uh, and then I will attack the guy next to me. Uh, giving me... I'm going to use the leadership die. Uh, Master at Arms will give me a plus one accuracy. I believe that's everything that will apply, which means I'll be attacking with one accuracy total, uh, given the soft cover. No, it's uh, if you attack in melee, he doesn't get soft cover. Immediately well, then I have uh, one more accuracy, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I rolled a six on my accuracy. I can't get better than that. <laughs> I deal him six damage. Uh, unfortunately, we do have to wait a moment, though, because Zero has a couple of turrets in the area, which could respond with extra damage. Hi, I'm back. Did you say that there are turrets that could respond for extra damage? Uh, did yes, you... Clippy, I did. Well, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and nominate this turd to do three damage then. Okay, he takes a brace reaction, but the turret uh, deals enough damage. Excellent. And uh, which one was that? It was. 
Okay, I think when you deleted it, it took it off the initiative. Right now. So we're good. That's all I was checking for. Yes. He, you stepped at it with your giant sword, and he braced with his arms, but the turret shot him in his back and he exploded. Good opening. Uh, Good opening. Four left. And then I think I go with yep. uh, the with the archer shoots at you. Uh, me? Yes, uh, you pyro. You're the closest. Okay. He and missed. but uh, he put so many bullets into the air with his. Light machine gun that you still takes three damage. Yeah. Three? Okay. And then he suppresses you. That means you are impaired. This is 2019. You don't suppress me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sorry, this is 2019. You don't. Wait, this is 20,000. <laughs> what well, year is this? This is 20XXXXX19. You don't suppress me. And, uh, this um, means if uh, you move within his uh, line of sight, he can, uh, as a reaction, he can shoot at you. Uh, which one was this again? The archer. Uh, that one. Okay. So. And it's your turn. So. Ah, uh, you mean my or, turn, right? Yes. Or cobras. Cobra, anything you want to do? I guess you're mostly uh, like in running mode, honestly. Yeah, I was thinking about throwing a grenade and then leaving. Throwing a grenade could be hilarious, but it could also be very risky. Maybe I should just go then. Uh, in which case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move four up to the lake into soft cover. And I'm going to go ahead and stabilize first. Uh, with Stabilize, I'm going to go ahead and use a Repair Point to fill myself back up to full. Which, let's see, where are my Repair Points indicated? There we go. So, one Repair, back to full HP. Uh, and then I will reload my Cyclonic Pulse Rifle. So as I'm turning the corner, there's just heat dissipating everywhere. And then I'm going to overcharge again and roll a D6 and see how badly that ruins my day. By four heat. All right, four heat in. I am then going to go ahead and fire at the archer. With what? Uh, with my cyclonic pulse that rifle. Requires a barrage action, which is a full turn action. Oh, it does. Um, Do you still have a core left? Uh, no, I already used that. Yeah, I remember uh, it's super heavy. Oh, it is super heavy. You're right. So maybe I ought to take that back. Or I, I mean, could just go ahead and do it anyway and, like, tech it. I just mean, say, like, I'm behind the corner. Full disclosure, I basically made the same move you did, but I attacked with a quick action weapon. So my cyclonic is reloaded, too, because this is my same plan. We do it, we're doing the same stuff. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tech attack this guy, and I'm just going to go ahead and lock on him. So now anyone has plus one accuracy if they want to tap it. That's all. I misjudge how much actions I needed to attack. But this is fine. I'm now ready to fire. Okay. And Helios has lots of options in the future. So I, that's the end of my turn. I use this symbol as locked on. That's a good one. Uh, then more drones going up. The artillery shoots again. Which one? The left one. That's another miss. <laughs> Ten are better to yeah. hit me. <laughs> they are pretty good at hitting me. Yes. 
<laughs> okay. Then it's Cobra. Cobra. Do we want to do anything or just run away? I guess it's run away. I forget what pilot run speed is again. I think it's a term by like the armor you're wearing. Uh, yeah, it's base four. And then if you have specific armor, like mobility, hard suits, or whatever, you can go faster. It's so hard to, so you can move forward. Yeah, but I think we can basically ignore what you're doing. Because... I mean, I don't count somebody out of their mech suit out of a fuck. Yeah, if he doesn't... I mean, technically, he could still run back to his uh, mech and jump in and do stuff. Uh, it's not gone, it's standing there. Uh, right, but right now I guess we could just consider him as retreated and not like a target anymore. Yeah. It's up to him. Yeah. yeah, you moved more than four, but whatever, you're basically out of Well, let's just move to pull the pilots out of mechs by climbing up them like gigantic... Uh, There's not. Monsters. There's yeah, not, I've thought about it more. Titan here at all for us. I mean, at most, literally, you can lock somebody in their mech, or you can lock uh, a mech's thing. Which can be real annoying if you've ejected it. Oh, yeah. Very funny. Then, then the other artillery does uh, the very same thing and uh, shoots at you. And it hits! Yeah. For 5 damage. Got it. And I forgot some special abilities, but I forgot them. So, yeah, good for you. Uh, Colonel Bright shoots at you. Uh, which one? Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. There's only there's only one that hasn't acted, so I'm pretty sure I know which one attacked me. That's also yeah. a hit. For four damage. Four. Uh, oh, that brings me exactly down to zero. So I will take myself back up to full 12, uh, and I am going to use... As a reaction, my custom paint job. Ooh. One in six chance. Damn it. All right, uh, rolling a d6 for the uh, structure. Oh, damn it. So, which weapon do you want to lose? Uh, well, no, now I roll uh, another d6 for that. So oh, it might be a yeah, system. Yeah, right. In which case, custom paint job. <laughs> Fuck you, custom paint job. Yeah, you know what? One to three, weapon. Hmm, I've only got the two. Do I want one that I have to reload every turn? Or do I want one that I can just attack? Uh, goodbye, cyclonic rifle. And yeah, at this point, you probably just want to charge straight in, honestly. I mean, it's annoying that I stabilized just last turn to get my psychotic rifle reloaded, but this is the oh, moment yeah. in the end. This is the moment in the anime where I toss the rifle to the side, and the sword comes out. And then Colonel Bright invades you, and I think that's it. So two more heat damage, and you are impaired. Well, I was already impaired and slowed. Because you told me I was. Yeah. But he doesn't have any other option. New turn. Who of oh you boy, to turrets start? online. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, since I'm in the front line now, I'd like to go first. If you'd like to, go ahead. All right, I can move five. And Boom. the archer, while you're moving, uses his reaction to shoot at you. Ah, you did not tell me about that before. Huh? I said uh, he uses the suppress action on you. Yeah, he's been... Uh, that counts on me remembering what suppress means. But anyway, it wouldn't stop me. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, five damage. Oh, which is automatic damage? Okay. Yeah, I rolled at uh, 19. Which is... Oh, is that what that is? Okay, I thought that was one of the yeah. previous rolls. All right, no, uh, I moved up as a free action. I am... 
Oh, that's uh, that is zero's lock on. Okay, I was wondering what that token meant. Huh. Yep. Go ahead and take that extra accuracy. Well, why do you have a thing that gives me uh? That's what lock on is for. Ah, uh, yeah, but I thought you have to. It's you lock. Your lock on. Uh, do you still have the extra leadership I gave you, the second one? No, I used that then... last time. Okay. The lock on is. The enemy is locked on, and anybody of your team can consume the lock on. So if you go ahead and consume it, uh, Zero can't use it, but Zero offered you, you to use it. So you right, it's there it. so that it can get hit. It's fine. Uh, okay, I'll consume it. Uh, so I have uh plus one, plus two. I have plus two accuracy right now. Man at arms, uh, and uh, this lockdown. Uh, so tactical and melee weapon. I'll take the skirmish action. That's a crit. Nice crit. So I'll reroll that d6 and see which is the higher die. The six is. Wow. So I'll deal eight kinetic damage. Is that in range of any of your turrets? Uh, quite a lot. Uh, I'll go ahead and nominate it to take three more damage. Is that enough to destroy it? Mm. Do we have to say all your turrets before I say if it's uh, destroyed or not? Uh, you know what? I think it'd be fair for me to just say I'm going to go ahead and nominate these two. And if that's overkill, that's fine because they're not going to reach anything anyway. No, it's barely standing. Oof. What do I think my chances are of not melting down? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to over overcharge. If there's one thing, it's go hard or go home with me. That's my last <laughs> overcharge. Well, I'm at D6 plus 3 for every overcharge from here on out. Well, I'm at D6 plus 3 for now. So I'm going to have a meltdown roll. But let's see by how much. A lot. Let's see, I'm at four. Six is my max. I'll go to two. Wow, I'm going to make two. <laughs> that was a bad call. All right, so I take the two to go to more. Then I go to one more, which is over. So seven. That's three. So actually, no, I'll go to full. I only make one. I'm at, I only make one, but I'm at full now. Full one over. So do I make that at the what, immediately? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I... Just give me a second. I'm just getting to the right page. Uh, one overheat. So D6. Uh, three. Power plant destabilized. I am exposed to taking double damage. Let me just double check here. Yeah, okay, I interpret that right. Uh, anything that puts you over your capacity, up to your capacity is fine. Just wanted to double check that. All right. I am exposed, which means I'll take double damage, but now I have a free action. I'm going to attack again. Skirmish. Uh, getting rid of my accuracy. Just a flat-out attack. Dealing another six kinetic damage. And with the power of your full anger, you kill it. Take my love, my hate, and all of my anger! Pyro, you're a little bit on fire over there. Are you okay? Yeah, the entire area around me has to be shimmering with burning plasma. Oh man, it is Shining Finger! <laughs> or Burning Finger, depending on your translation. So, and, uh... Uh, I still have an action left. Because I moved, I uh, attacked, and then I overcharged, which means I have one quick action left to boost. Right there. You could also attack him, but that's fine. 
Uh, I don't do that. That's not me. That's you. <laughs> I know my limitations. I, then... Well, actually, I've proven that I don't, but I, I pretend that I do. Because you are still at a disadvantage, he just moves away and uh, risks you hitting him. Yep, and I will try that. Ooh, but if you hit him, I get to go ahead and use my turret. I'm going to nominate my turret to do an extra 3 damage. Uh, how much range do they got? 10. Oh, yeah, it's not 10. Yeah, so that's what, 11 damage total? Yeah. I can drop them anywhere in my sensor range, and oh. then they have 10 range. So they have a theoretical 20 if I just wanted to stretch it and be stupid. And now it's a super good uh, point to say, yay, he got his evasive maneuvers and can dodge that damage. Which means, oh yeah, you're turning into a miss. Yes. And I'm not yeah. accurate. And I guess that means, does his turret ever go off then? I guess his turret doesn't actually happen then. No, the turret doesn't happen. Oh, okay. So, cannot dominate it. It's still active. But I yeah. think everything is out of range of it now. Yeah. yeah. And because of the maneuvers, he gets some free spaces, and then he uses his regular movement. And then he locks onto you, consumes the lock-on, and attacks you pyro. No, he doesn't consume the lock-on. He leaves the lock-on for one of the artilleries because they are fucking bad at hitting stuff. Uh, so it's just... Yeah, did the uh, artillery have inaccurate or something? Yeah, they have. But... Yeah, that would explain why they missed all the time then. And you have the cover, which is basically everywhere. But you still Them having get... their drones really helped them, but they missed every shot. They still get 4 damage. Uh, you still get 4 damage. Alright. Um, uh, I am going to brace, so I'm going to take 2 damage. And it's doubled because you're exposed. Right, so I still take 4 damage. But yes. not 8. But not 8. And he uses his reposition to allow this artillery to move. And then it's uh, Zero's turn. I like to imagine that Zero has just been pointing in this direction the entire time. And as uh, the ace flies back, I'm just kind of smiling to myself going, all conditions have been cleared, and I'm going to go ahead and fire at him. Because he's in range. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have plus one accuracy. Does he have cover? Yeah, there's uh, this big tree between you. Okay, so we are at nothing. And we're just rolling uh, flat out. Five is <laughs> concerning, unfortunately. Which is a real shame, considering that damage. Three oh, sixes, yeah. no that less. That was a... Uh, Fantastic damage roll. That was the devil I shot. Think, I think the whole forest kind of shakes a little bit after that one. Yeah, this... And I just kind of go, well, back to my cover. So, uh, I'm just kind of sticking out here. I guess I may as well try to advance. Okay. There's not very many places to do it in cover here. Yeah, if you go around uh, the uh, the left side, you yes, uh, cover everywhere. So. Yeah, I'd have to like go around the left side though, uh, which is which would take a bit. I guess I could go ahead and like do that. That's fine. Oh. Okay, so that's about the extent of what I can do here. And... I used up all my actions, I moved, I'm done. And I can't inspire anyone either. And then the lower artillery will fire. So, cover inaccuracy, but lock on and drone. So, it's, so it's flat roll. Flat roll plus, plus bonus. Is a 9 enough to hit? Nope. 10 or better. I already told you this. 
Yeah, great. And then the other artillery rolls at you. And it's not a hard roll. See? Oh, yes. It hits. It hits. For five damage. So ten damage. Yes. Uh, which brings me down to seven and one structure uh, off. I can't use paint job because I already used it. And then afterwards it moves. Oh, shark. That's not good. Oh, actually, oh yeah, it's the first one. Uh, this result has different outcomes depending on how much structure damage, uh, how much structure back from in. 3 plus, I am stunned until the start of my next turn. Is it, is it, is yeah, because this is my first. Yeah, this is my first uh, structure uh, removed. So four minus one, three, three plus. You know, make immediately. Uh, wait a second. Oh, sorry, I'm reading. What am I reading? Uh, there we go. Direct hit. Yeah, three plus. Your mech is stunned until the end of your next turn. So then, I guess Cobra just uh, keeps retreating. And it's a new turn. Who of you wants to go first? Oh, uh, not uh, Pyro, because he's stunned. Yeah. Zero. Yep. yep. Uh, oh, we already had a brand new round already? Yes. There aren't many uh, enemies left anymore, so it goes very, very fast. That is true. Well, I can go ahead and stabilize. I can go ahead and take away my heat, uh, reload my weapon, and then go ahead and continue moving around this thing. Three, four. Uh, and that's far as far as I can get, then. Okay, then it's an uh, artillery barrage on... Uh... Uh, Pyro, Pyro, you are still exposed, right? Because you did nothing to make it go away. Uh, yeah. Exposed uh, until uh, I take an action to remove it, which I did not do. You miss. Then you know. You know what's even great about that miss is that my evasion is five while I'm stunned. <laughs> you missed a, an unmoving target. <laughs> By the way, I'm probably dead this round. <laughs> Somewhere on their chatter side, it's like, I thought he was the tree over there. You couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. And uh, then Colonel uh, Bright will shoot at you. For 4 damage, which gets doubled. Alright, uh, which is another structure. So, hold on. Also brings me to... Uh, 11. Say two d six, and of course one of them was a one. Uh, let's see, I am at uh, two structure. Your mu your mech must pass a hull check or be destroyed. Even on a successful check, your mech is stunned until the start of next turn. So if I succeed, uh -oh. I don't get a turn. If I do uh, if I don't succeed, uh, Pyro is dead. Uh, let's see, mech check, um, hull check. Or my your hole. Success. Nice. Not dead yet. Just stunned. And then he locks onto you. And the art <coughs> the last artillery is firing. And I think that's a hit for five more damage, which gets doubled to ten. Uh leaving me at one. And it's... I have one hit point, and I'm full on heat. Literally, the mech could not be in worse shape. And you're stunned, right? Yeah, stunned this turn, and I'm stunned uh, on the next go-around. Which I guess is now, so I'm stunned again. Yeah. So I'll just go ahead and mark myself as one. Zero. Zero, you better do something. 
Or as I understand it, I'm dead again? Well, let's see. Oh, they retreated even further just now, didn't they? Yes. Yeah, that's going to be extra hard for me to reach. I'd have to get all the way to here. And that is nine hexes. Even if I boost, I can't target them. However, this guy is only 18. If I want to get within 15, I just need to kind of walk up here. Uh, I'd like one of the squares that's not adjacent to the uh, plus two bots. So I'm going to just kind of waddle over here. So in the wing next to a bush. Yeah. Well, actually, you know I what? am loaded. I'm going to take this, the one off of me for some reason, because I still can take a turn. Which I will explain uh, later. Hmm. Now here's the question. Do I go ahead and do D6 plus 3 overcharge to lock onto him first? Or just accept the flat roll? I'm just going to go with the flat roll. I'm not going to jinx myself just yet. We'll do that when things get even worse. Uh, so this is me shooting at our uh, flying ace out here. So... Round two. 14 should be a hit if he doesn't dodge it, I believe. I didn't use it this round, right. So then let's see if he can dodge. And he dodges! Okay. It is still five reliable, if that counts. Um, yes. Does, but, uh... I think that might actually be the first bit of damage that's been done to him so far. No, you all somebody already hit him. Ah, okay. So we did at I, least once before. I can't remember who, but I marked damage on him, so. Uh and as a free action, I'll just radio out a message and go, I think you've lost this ambush. I think it's time for you to retreat, Bright. And that's gonna end my turn. Yeah. You and your three ranks. Then I still like how Cobra's mech is standing next to the lake. Then it's totally uh, active. Nobody ejected at all. Don't look too closely. <laughs> then uh, Mr. Bright uh, shoots at Helios again. Of course. Ah, dang oh, it. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm okay. I that's the... it added wrong, but that's still well. What weird. what's his modifier? Plus one. Oh, it doesn't so matter. Four plus, one. four plus one is a hit anyway. Is there a was there a negative there? No, it's no negative. I, you do I have soft cover, right? cover. Yeah. Yeah, but he has a weapon that. Uh... Ah, okay. No, he he does does right right. Uh, he uh he has rely. Uh, ah, I'm looking at the wrong one. No, he ignores uh, cover. That's why he hits it. Okay, then exactly enough to hit me. Uh, how Four much damage? So eight damage, which will bring me down yep. to uh, five. Yeah. No, wait. <laughs> Sorry. Suddenly, math has become very hard for me. <laughs> Let's see. I go up to twelve. Uh, eight, seven. Yeah, five. Uh, and a third hit on the structure. So 3d6. Every time I've rolled d6s so far, I have gotten a 1 in there. Uh, 3 is the lowest this time. So roll another d6, system trauma. Five. So yeah. Choose a system which gets destroyed. Goodbye, custom paint job. <laughs> Goodbye, custom. At right. least it wasn't hull destruction this time. Well, all right, though. Is that his turn? Is he done? No, no, no. He still locks onto you. Okay. And that's his the end of his turn. And that. Because I still have actions. I can do something, even though I'm stunned. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. A and stunned... Just running. Because, uh, yeah, a pilot in a stunned mech can still take their normal actions 
just the mech is stunned. Uh, ejecting is a quick action. And oh, Pyro is doing it again, everyone. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to eject six spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Technically, that's six. And <laughs> hold on, I got the thing. Uh, second quick action. I have a stealth hard suit. Apparently, there's no roll action to tell you what this is. So I'll just copy and paste. As a quick action, you become invisible while wearing this hard suit. The invisibility breaks if you take damage, which means you have a 50-50 shot to miss me. Also, I'm not exposed like my mech was. So, okay, uh, when the artillery now shoots at you, how is this handled? You're shooting at me or my mech? Oh, at you. They still remember you. Okay. Oh, wait. Remember me? That's right. Oh, me. You mean remember me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Took me a minute to parse that. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, first off, when I'm invisible, the thing you do is you roll a 50-50 shot. So, uh, I'm going to say low for a miss? It's up to you, but I mean, if I'm calling a, if I'm calling a coin in the air sort of thing, I just roll a d6. One through three okay. hits, uh, four through six misses. Oh, I like rolling uh, a coin. So one miss, two hit. Oh, D two, sure. And for the thing, okay, both are allowed to roll. My luck. One. I mean, not as bad as Cobra's today, but I guess maybe even worse, considering I could just well be dead, depending on what you. That's okay. Your sacrifice won't be entirely in vain. Look at all my turrets. Oh wait, no, yeah. I am dead because you're gonna roll flat damage. I forgot. So it hits and it's four damage. If oh no. Uh, well, damage. it's eight damage. You hit me twice. No, it, that's the roll for the first guy. I. But the second guy also uh, hits you. Yeah, it's very hard to not hit me. All right. Well, <sighs> Pyro's dead. Gotta come up with somebody new. Thank God I made so many. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay because they shot at you they didn't shoot at me but that's great though you see the explosion hit the ground right and flesh just gets ripped off and you, you do the terminator face like when uh, arnold gets hit, gets shot in the head in the eye or he carves off parts of his face and you see the metal exoskeleton and for a moment you hear copyright music you know doo -doo 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 -doo. and then boom the second one hits and he's just gone Vaporizing yeah, the can, explosion. I can imagine like a flash forward here where Zero's sitting like at a debriefing and he has to like write down <laughs> on a piece of paper what happened. And just like in the extra comments section, he just like taps his faint pen to his gym for a bit and then writes in recommend future psychological evaluations for pilots. Investigate <laughs> Pyro's uh profile and don't make them lancers. <laughs> Okay, it's uh, Mr. Bright comes to you and says, "I I think my ambush is going pretty well. You should retreat, and it's your turn." Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm unloaded, and I'm on this side of the lake, so I'm just gonna comment back and go, "Things are looking pretty good from this side of the lake to me." Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a bit of cover. I think I could move to about here, try to benefit from the hard cover versus anything, and probably be far outside the range of the artillery. So it's up to him if he wants to get closer. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and stabilize, okay. which will reload me, and nothing more. So how do I measure the range? Uh, you could either use the uh, range finding tool, which is the fourth button on the left, or if you say uh, hold down on a token, you can go ahead and right click and then move it around, and that shows you like how far it's going to move. Okay. Uh, how many hexes is it from the artillery to you? Uh, it looks like twenty-five. Yeah, great! It's in range. It fires at you. Oh boy, really? 
Yes. Nice. And it uh, uh, <coughs> gets plus one from the throne, minus one from the hardcover, uh, uh, minus two from the hardcover, and so it. It's a bit of a tough sell for them. It's uh, it's a seven because I doubled the negative, but seven still isn't enough to it. Mr. Bright takes cover and allows starter artillery to move forward, so it also can shoot. And yeah, it's an eight. Eight doesn't hit you, does it? Um, eight is then, what uh, my defense is, so. No, no, it's not an eight. Sorry, it's a four. Uh, yeah, your they they still shoot at you, and it's your turn. Okay. Well, I'm fully loaded. Nobody's necessarily in range. This guy is all the way over here. Uh, I definitely can't always do crazy actions. But you know what I could do? I could go ahead and take a step back here. And I can go ahead and use a uh, skirmish action to go ahead and hit this thing and try to destroy it. Uh, I'm wondering what else I could do with my other quick action, though, before I do that. I don't think there's, like, a really good option. You could there's... scan the drones <laughs> if you're bored, but... Uh, actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and scan the drones. Like, how much HP do they have? And how much does this one in particular have? This one still has 10 left, and 10 out of 10, it's, a. Uh... And it has 10 defense. Uh, and what's the range on their bonus? Like two hexes? First area of two hexes, yes. Okay, thought so. So I'm free from the other one, uh, but I need to get rid of this one. So I will go ahead and slash it now. Okay, I can hit broadside barn and I do five energy. Yeah, I mean, they can just relaunch them at will, so it doesn't matter. Oh no, it's a, it's a super heavy weapon, so they can't relaunch them at well. So it's got five left, and I did it wrong yeah, the if... whole time. Oh, oh should they have been probably. reloading every other turn? <laughs> no, no, they should have. They can either fire their weapon or their draw. They can't do both. Ah, yeah. But yeah, my bad. I'm still learning too. It's okay. Actually, oh. you know what? This thing is actually in range of two turrets, and I'm not using them for anything else this turn. I'm going to do six more damage to it. Okay, you blow it I, up. I found a good use for them, everyone. These turrets are doing a good bit of work. You know, they're great teammates. All right, so uh, I'm behind the ship. What are they going to do? I think they move up. And fire some more drones. Hello. And Okay, it's your turn again. Okay, so this space is technically uh, undroned, which is funny. No, it's uh, range two, so you are in the range. Well, I mean, uh, this one that I'm like. Oh yeah, to, yeah. Like, if I wouldn't move to that one, uh, they are also technically in range now. Uh, so is this guy, and since this is a brand new turn. I have these back, and the only question is, will I be able to hit him with multiple ones? That one's 12, this one's 6. And for last, and this turn I wrote for Mr. Bright's evasive maneuver, it didn't reload. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move to the uh, drone-free space here. Uh, and now I weigh my options. Do I go ahead and fire at Bright and hope? I think so. 
Uh, so he's going to be my target. This is a full barrage to fire the Super Heavy. And uh, cover and accuracy cancel out, and that should be a miss. Yes. Seven is too low. Okie doke, and none of my turrets go off, and that is that then. And... I think he uh, flies uh, forward. He shoots at you with his. Uh, no, uh, I think he flies a little bit to the left. He has enough range. Uh, he shoots at you with his uh, missile launcher. Okay, okay. Which hits for four damage. All right, puts me at eight. And then I have to look up. The invade action gives you. Yeah, and then he take attacks you to invade. Ooh, okay. So, what's. Uh, good question. Uh, e defense should be 10, particularly because I have extra to. Uh, what are the pilot thing is called? System. Yeah, then. You're good to go. Oh, and... very good then. All right, so my turn. How far away is he? No, no, you shot already. Oh, yeah, that's right. And so that was I... the end of his turn, so then his subordinates go now, right? Correct. And it... I mean, the turn order thing should be real easy to figure out now. It's basically you and then all of them, and then you and then all of them. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> so the first one hits for five damage. Uh, okay. I will go ahead and brace that. Okay. And so that is a uh, three then. Three. And the second one hits for five more damage. Okay. So that brings me down to exactly zero then. Uh, and that would be a system check now, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, to do, and I guess just to clarify, brace is only on the first attack, not for Correct. subsequent. The okay, so second attack gets additional disadvantage, but even if I rolled higher disadvantage, I still would have hit you. Okay, so that is a four for the system check. Or is, am I supposed to roll something other than d6 first? No, it's a uh, structure check, and. So you get system trauma, roll a d6. Right, that's a four. No, no, uh, this was to uh, see what goes wrong, and then the system trauma, to, you have to roll again. Because okay, so, so another d6 then. Yes, you lose one of your weapons. You choose which. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and drop the sword for the time being. And then it's your turn. And All right. You're back at full health. Uh, yes, I am. That is one system damage, too. One structure, that is. Uh, okay, so now is the time for uh, the world's best strategy. I braced, so I think I only get one action this turn, right? Uh, I uh, Let me check, but yes, I think so. Yeah, only one quick action. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, boost and move out in this no, direction. No, no regular move, just a quick action. Oh, just a quick action. So I will uh, move backwards for... Well, I'll just start back where I was real quick. And four out would be basically hopping this. Oh, you're boosting? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out like a good spot for it. It's technically not out of range, but it's in a full hard cover and out of line of sight. So he won't be able to shoot at me. And I can do other things later. So there I am. I'm on the other side of the ship now with jump jets. 
Okay, cool. Then he shoots at you again. I think the artillery, you mean, right? No, uh, uh, the ace first. Okay. And he ignores the... hard cover. Yeah. Yes, he ignores cover. All of that. Oh, okay. So, oh, this is the missiles, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and missiles are three damage or four. Four. Okay. Oop. There we go. And his systems don't reload. Hmm. I think for arcing, don't arcing weapons also ignore cover? Uh, yes, cover? specifically. Ignores line of sight. But still oh, takes so. cover into account, it says. Okay, then... Page 129, arcing. So they're taking very hard shots, but they can still take the shots. So it's... Then it's... It's seeking that ignores cover in line of sight. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, colonel got seeking, the other only got. And they roll super bad, and a lot of leaves rustle down beside you. It's your turn again. Okay. And now you can move and boost and do. Right. Uh, my only consideration is if I just do a uh, complete retreat here, or if I uh, use overcharge to try to uh, uh, boost and reload, so that if he comes around, I can fire a shot at him. You could turn around and... No, you can't stop him. Your sword is defunct. Yeah, if I... okay. Eight would be, like, out here. So... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Should I overcharge? I have a half chance of just burning up, but I don't know how bad that could be for me right here. What if I overheat? I could probably end up losing another weapon, couldn't I? Not from heat, but from structure. From heat right, right. So I was just thinking, like, so what happens if I get uh, overheated here? Could be bad. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's what started my stun lock, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, that sounds terrible, actually. Also, exposed is not so great. Yeah, emergency shutdown, destabilization, melting down. Yeah, if that happens, I'm not going to take a half chance on that. I'm going to go ahead and retreat. I don't think there's a way I can use my third quick action to do any more movement or anything, is there? Oh, before you move, you could uh, use it to make a tech action to get uh, Colonel Bright impaired, so he is slower at uh, going up. Actually, the... yeah, that's a really good point. So I actually probably want to do that. So okay. tech action before I move. 15. So, so he's not locked on, so that's only two heat, impair, and slow. So, yeah. Uh, and then I move all the way across the field to where I am. Just jumping over trees. So he's uh, still in range, but his pursuit is slower. But basically now, if you uh, want to get away, you can get away. We don't have Right, to I think that's going to be the objective here. So, yeah. Yeah. To uh, sum the battle up, you uh, got arm ambushed. You Killed some of the uh, mech, destroyed some of the mechs, probably killed some of the pilots. And. But three of their mechs are still standing, and you lost, lost one pilot of yours. And you are right. back in the city, but. So, what we need oh. to do is. Uh print out an army of pyros real quick and <laughs> so did you uh you pick up cobra or cobra finds his way back to his mech what happened there yeah a cobra can walk to the city well i mean yeah, i meant like, like on the way like while i'm flying back i just like bend down and go like go ahead and uh jockey on because here's the and, thing uh, though he mounts up and i move out if you leave those mechs out there they'll have two everest mechs now I mean, they'll be impaired and slowed mechs, but they'll still be Everest mechs they'll have now. 
Well, if I recall, like, the way it's supposed to work is that, like, each Lancer's only supposed to have one, and when they print out a new one, the old one just is no longer functional at all. I don't recall that being a thing. It's it's, I mean, there's rules thing, for... Yeah. Well, there's rules for pilots getting into mechs they have no licenses for, which is what we covered last time. So right, if the mechs are still the out there... also say, like, you only get one at a time, period. Yeah. That doesn't mean yeah. anything, though. You can still pilot mechs you don't control. That aren't yours, rather. I mean, I'll, I mean, okay. if you got the rule on the page, then guys, I will guys, guys. gladly read it. So this is the meta game rule, so that every player can only ever have one Mac and not have a garage full of Macs. So you can only have one Mac, but I rule you now lost control of your Macs because you left them behind, and so they could take them technically if they have pilots for it. But yeah, it's a meta game route, so you don't get a garage full of different mechs. Right. And as you already covered before the rules channel, they can still impair and slow pilot weird mechs <laughs> if they wanted to, if we got the balls to do it. Right. Still, at this point, me and Cobra are retreating to the city. Uh, well, do you want did, to cover anything for that? I did ask to be taken back to my mech so I could pilot it back myself. Well, that's still technically a danger zone. Yeah. You can Unless... just print a new Mac. It takes eight hours to print a new Mac, you know? So, mm -hmm. so we're going to take you back, and we're going to print up a new one, and we're going to form a plan. The odds are now increasingly in our favor. If we start again and we're not ambushed, I think we win this. Yeah. So... I'm. Uh, so I think I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, not let you chew in the stew, so to say. After some days, uh, nobody gets any signals from Mr. Bright anymore, and some shuttles left the planet. And you suppose he just fled the planet because with three pilots left and some infantry, he won't stand a chance against you. Because right, he's to... taken a severe enough blow that this isn't really possible for him anymore. Yeah, and he still has explosives, but this was a bluff. He never wanted to harm civilians for real, so he mm -hmm. got, has no options left. And you uh, wait around on the planet for some weeks just to make sure, and then you get recalled. You can celebrate your party. Fluff it out, if you like. Go ahead and set up like a uh, cremation for what remains of Pyro. Oh yeah, that would be... Uh, the only way works. he could ever be buried here. That doesn't burn, though. Anything burns with enough thermite. That's all I'm saying. And if only I could find that gif that I'm looking for. <laughs> you know, uh, Archer? When uh, Archer brings down the, uh, the grain silo on Barry? And then burns it? I don't remember that episode. It must like, have been like one of the later seasons. Yeah, it's the season before Dreamland and all that stuff, because he's still an android and everything, and it burns his body to death, and it's like everything came down on him. You think he's dead, and then the firefighters show up to the thing. And Look, we'll it, just... it does the Terminator thing, where his eye, he looks at the camera, and his eyes glow, and then they fade away. And then it just hangs there on the shot for a second, and then the eyes just come back, and he starts laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, here, I guess, like, we could always just, like, put Pyro's body into, like, a, an explosive blimp full of helium, you know? That that stuff ignites. <laughs> That's another Archer joke. Uh, Alright, so that is at least a mission accomplished, not in the way that we intended, ever. But it no. happened. Yes. Uh, I guess, uh, would that mean we go up a license level now? Yes, you all go up license level, but I still wanted to give you the chance to fluff some more before you we go to organizational stuff. All right. Yeah. So uh, I'll I'll definitely like look over a cover and go. I'm sorry to have used you in this way. I didn't realize that they were going to shoot you down, but as soon as it happened, it was just such a good opening. There was no reason to waste it. We would have had to hunt them down if not for you. It's just a shame that Pyro, well, burst into flames again. 
It's, I am sorry for your loss in making me safe. And I do hope to make your hunt a success in the future. Well, I'm going to chalk this up to a lesson learned in how to apply people to their strengths. And this time, at least Pyro got to play to his. But you know, now that he's gone, I'll be looking for a new partner for my next Mirror Smoke mission. You wouldn't happen to be looking for one too, would you? Uh, I'm looking for a mission. That's then... why I'm here. Then I think we can start working together. I still liked how you fought out there. I think we can work well as a team. Thank you for your vote of confidence, Sarah, although I did just leave a chassis behind. Well, you didn't die. And honestly, given uh, Pyro's performance, I think that's good in my book. You did everything you needed to, and we knocked out almost all of their forces. That's a win. Very well. All right. And I think that cements new friendship uh, walking off into the sunset there. So you both get a small badge for your first mission you survived. And you accomplished the goal. Not perfectly, but you accomplished the goal. So, yeah, commendations. But uh, uh, in summary, you did really well. No civilians lost. Oh, only two civilians lost, but no, oh. not much lost. What civilians did you lose? Uh, uh, we lost two of them in a truck when they decided to attack. That's on U zero. I found our badge. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, uh, you are commended. You you did well, and you gain your license level. So next Hooray. mission will be at license level one. Time to figure out what to improve. Yeah, and I think that gets me marker light too, which is going to be real good. I'm going to have to figure out how this works. I get that first. Well, no, you would get marker light one, right? Uh, oh. Yeah, like, I think it's in the first rank of things. I'll double check. Well, no, all the. Uh, you say all the mechs that you get are on the second rank of every every tier. Right. Uh, the mech is called Swallowtail. The thing I want is called oh, marker light. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was thinking marker light was the name of a mech. Yeah, it's all cool. And, uh,. I guess I'll be trading out smoke grenades for them generally, unless I need them. That's the. It's uh, turned out to be real good. I that, like them. They were that, good. Choice. That's the four heat mech attack, isn't it? or a tech attack rather, right? Uh, yep. Four heat locks on. If you use it up, I get to use it as a critical. Cool. I could also uh say use a quick action to lock on, and then marker light and do like six heat, impair slow, push three. And you also get to critical them. Which is funny, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So that that's the combo I'm looking for. I'm looking to be very rude in the future. Just wait until I also get to add shred armor to that. Yeah, I have okay. to figure out which build to go with next. Okay, let's do some uh, review of what was good was what was not so good. The combat, I'll try to get more organized next time with the turn order and stuff. We all learn the rules better, so I think the next combats will go ever more smoothly. Mm -hmm. so, I think as far as prep, uh, if you want to use like uh, maps like this and just kind of like put them out like on the spur of the moment, you could always just have a page with like groups of enemies that you know will be together and copy and paste those over as a group. So that you don't have like individually drag them next time. Yeah, that's a that probably idea. Be a good way to handle it. Like this was clearly like a bit of a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, as GM, it's always this thin line. I like said several times. Okay, they got anti-air weapons, but.
but I didn't want to make it too obvious. Right, but... the whole time I'm just like, wait a second, anti-air weapons. Well, I guess we can't go to the air, but it's not like we have jets or anything. <laughs> And then I'm just like looking up into space, like, oh, he's going to be coming in through the air at any time. Well, that's going to be safe and easy, right? <laughs> yeah. I had like, I had like the number two in one hand and the number two in another hand. And I'm just like, what do these add up to? I just don't know. Ah, they're not important. <laughs> oh, but uh, I kind of suppose you would check it and reroute uh, your new partner so but next time i will the idea with this groups in hand is uh, good so yeah i, I guess like i'm playing overly life. cautious and that's what led to it <laughs> yeah but you're still alive overly cautious means alive, alive. Over everyone else <laughs> i saw i saw that i had four heat and i'm like looking at my overcharge like well let's d6 plus three heat i could survive this did not survive this yeah, and I'm looking at, like, I'm on zero heat, and I'm just like, do I want to roll d6 plus 3? That's 50-50 to just die here. Well, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> if I was doing a narrative thing, I'm in my cockpit, like, carving little marks on, all right, that's number 6, can I get a 7th on this row? <laughs> it's like, but nope, there goes my cockpit. But, uh, Feta, if you have had run away instead of at them, they wouldn't have shot at you because a pilot running away is no danger anymore. Yeah, so well, again... Unless it's Pyro. <laughs> again, we did a little test thing, and I defeated Griff's mech out, uh, out, uh, out of suit, mostly because he locked me out of my uh, mech. But, and then, uh, then, yeah, I mean, the previous uh, session. But no, I have the, the heavy weapon. Which means I can deal like four damage a shot to a mech. If that mech is near dead, then you know. I th I think what I should have done is I should have just ran right at the artillery mechs, so that would have been right next to both of them. But instead, yeah, I decided the I was like, these artillery mechs are the most dangerous part, and everything else is a distraction. And in the end, we killed everything but the artillery mech. Yeah, I think for some reason I got fixated on the the ace that flew away the first time. I was like, I'm gonna get you this time. For no reason, and then I died there. Yeah, but, I'm just um, surprised everyone went for a swim. I mean, the artillery max they did their damage over time. Then, because of the inaccuracy, they can't do much damage uh, every round, but it uh, really adds up with their huge range. We did really good in not all clumping together and getting multiple people hit in the same shot. So good to all of us for that. Oh, that would have uh, been That would have been terrible. Really deadly. So. Uh, Ark, anything you want to say? Anything you liked, disliked? Anything, any thoughts in your mind? I enjoyed myself, and I do thank you for putting up with me while I'm you know, first learning to play. And if anybody wants to help me figure out how to uh, raise my license level and what that means. I do like the addition point. of the, uh, and what that means at the end there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll work I think it out I know for you means, once we're all wrapped up here, if you want. I, that's what I I'm think I know what it means, but I'd rather, you know, be told. Yeah, so, I know. I just thought it was a funny little addition to the end. But... Uh, Agroid, I, yes. the voice is better now than in the beginning, but if you still could uh, play around with your input a little bit, maybe we have to try out TeamSpeak. In my mind, TeamSpeak has way better voice quality than uh, Discord. I, no, we got to use Discord. It's yeah, my recording for, medium. Oh, damn. But uh, maybe play around with the settings a little bit in the Discord, like noise cancellation and What's it called? Take input automatically. Or my head, my webcam is too simple to have very many options to adjust. Oh, try it in the Discord in the app settings. Maybe I already did, it. and there wasn't anything to adjust. Okay, then uh, it would be nice if you invested some euros into a better mic. I mean, it works, yes, but... euros, specifically euros. Oh, I do not adjust. 
do not put anything else into it, Arclight. Do not spend one red penny on this. Only euros. Okay. You could spend dollars. Sorry, it's my currency. But only Brazilian okay, dollars. <laughs> not a pound, not an American dollar, only Brazilian dollars. Okay. Damn it. Arclight, where are you from? Until you get one of those, do nothing. I'm from the United States. Okay, yeah. Uh, when I heard you, you sound English, but because how you write your name, I uh, first thought you uh, were uh, Greek. Yeah, I just made, made that up. Yeah. I used a uh, alt code to uh, put those in. Yeah. yeah, that's right. He thought I was before Christ, so. Yeah, and then Greek. Or an X-Men. <laughs> Increase the use euro. So. But yeah. Do they? Something, something. Yeah. Thought they had yeah. their own local currency. No, not anymore. That's part of the problem. But yeah. Didn't all their banks catch on fire or something? <laughs> like eight years ago. <laughs> yeah, I never heard any news about them recovering. I heard they were just a, a real drag on the European Union. You know what? This is being streamed online. Never mind. Okay. I think we can so, just cut the little commentary part out of the end here. <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh Okay, before we get uh, too political, uh uh one other thing though. Uh so we're really not using the narrative part of the game at all. Yeah, yeah. We kind of got straight into it this time. That was also my thought and like we have a reason why it happened. Well, it, I mean, it'll be nice to see more of it in the future, but well, I mean, the even we were in. even last time when I was trying to sneak up on those guys, uh, my guy had the uh, the thing of taking people out quietly, quickly and quietly, and I, I was counting on that to be used since that's like a plus two. But then we went straight into a rolled uh, combat combat, and it's like, well, when do I use this skill if we just immediately go into combat every time I go to use it? Oh, it's uh. uh... Maybe we have to watch the recordings. The way I remember it, you trust you rolled combat and I trust rolled along with it. I, uh, can't I thought that you called for an attack or something. I don't remember. I think it was the fact that you were found out because you rolled very poorly. No, I, I and then you decided not to retreat. Right, but oh, yeah. I mean, the idea there being is what point do you use uh, narrative I mean, combat skills versus uh, combat combat skills? Because they both exist. Okay, then I think we just uh, uh, had some uh, miscommunication. I, uh, the way I remember it, I called for a roll and you decided to make an attack. My problem, you... my problem there is that if I just assumed something and then rolled it, then I'm always going to remember that I rolled it that way and not what actually happened. So I can't be yeah, counted but... on. I'm an unreliable narrator in this respect. But yeah, I, yeah, me too. Me too, but for me, uh, I remember this way, and I think, oh, is this a combat role? So, and I just wrote along with it. But in the, I get what you're saying. In the future, I will try to do more non-combat stuff. I will set you up with the next mission, which won't start out in combat unless you make it so. But I mean, well, new character, <laughs> this character <laughs> might not be a pyro. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm gonna punch you now. Gonna kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> and so, oops, my mic just went away. And hey, uh, again. I'm Pyro's cousin, Ripro. <laughs> oh my god! I got cloned once. I'm also a subaltern. Uh, uh, anything you uh, specifically see into, in your next missions? So, like planning, planet settings, chances to. Evolve as characters, something, something, something. Profit. Profit? I don't know. I was just joking. I have no idea. I, I mean, oh. I, this is more for a, a zero and Cobra thing because that's how I don't even know where I'm going to be at yet. So, okay. Uh, I, mean, I like tactical things. Maybe uh, a slightly wider event happening or something. This was like very much one group versus one group. 
Oh, on like feel... an incredibly wide area. This is like manhunt mode. I feel kind of bad that Griffin made the the world map and now we're gone. That's okay. We can reuse it later. No one will notice. We'll flip it around. <laughs> we'll invert it. And look, all these uh, place names are spelled backwards. Uh, but yeah, like uh, something involving us like trying to do a thing in a larger scenario would be interesting. Okay, noted. One thing I wanted to bring up is the different languages in on this planet. Conveniently, everyone everyone spoke the same language as you. That won't be the case in the next mission. So I think all of my character uh, my character ideas have data plating, so not gonna be a problem. Oh, yeah, but uh, only if the other guy also got a data plate. No, data plating isn't... Uh, I think data plating is uh, red stuff, not spoken stuff. I'm a little bit confused, but even if it was the other thing, you're familiar with Hitchhiker's Guide, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know Babblefish? I'm assuming it's like a Babblefish, because it's described no. as like jewelry and such. Uh, Reread it again. It's only a babblefish for uh, people that also got a babblefish, so it's not... No, 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 it allows fish. you to communicate with other people that have data plating, but it doesn't say that it translates only what other people with data plating say. It says data plates can quickly translate many languages. And then there's a second thought that says, and anyone with a data plating can talk to another person with a data plating. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, I read that lo uh, wrong. I imagine it'll have, like, all the uh, grace of, like, trying to read out of a, uh, like, one language to another dictionary when you try to respond, but at least you would understand them very easily. Right. So it will just translate. Yeah, and all my characters have data plating, because I think when I was making all my characters, I was very much trying to copy Zex Marquis. Which isn't to say that Zex Marquis had data plating. It was that it's described as, like, you know, facial stuff or head stuff, and it's like, I want a helmet. But helmets are cool. But if you got a data blade and the other guy doesn't, can you talk in his language? Uh probably not. It's probably that I'll understand him and then uh you've seen the movie Enemy Mine, right? No, I don't think so. Oh, classic sci fi. Two enemies, they crash land on a planet together and they're like the only living things around and they have to rely on one another to survive and they're one's an alien and one's a human. So they hate each other, but they don't speak each other's language, but they'll both die if they don't help one another. Anyway, kind of fun. it's the it's, it's retro sci-fi. I mean that it's an older sci-fi movie, but it's 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 a great movie and it's a mainstay of that whole we don't understand one another but and we hate each other but we have to get along thing. It's a uh, dances with wolves, but sci-fi basically. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Dance, that's a wonderful point to leave off on. I think it might have uh, been predated. I got some food here. I'm going to go ahead and take a break. Arcloid, uh, if you want to chat later, I'll pop back into the channel in like 20 minutes or so, and we can talk All about right. leveling up and stuff. Yeah. All right. So thanks for running, and I'll catch yes. you later. Yes. Oh, Griffin, next play is next Sunday. Just so everybody heard it. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, by the way, Dances with Wolves, 1990. Enemy Mine, 1985. <laughs> Enemy Mine came up first. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'll oh. catch you all later. Yeah, see you later.